Hello friends, and welcome back to Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. This is Minus Max welcoming you once again to Heather Valley with Sean Redburn. Now in the previous episode, Sean spent a bit of time making some armor. Uh, a little bit of time just hauling stuff out of buildings. And recovering a bit. And we're warm. Why are we warm? I don't know. I'm just going to close that up. And we're going to return back to that since we're not hungry or thirsty at the moment. We do still have our bag on us. Good. Our axe, our survival knife. Good. Everything of importance. Just going to carry on. No. All right. Down there. No. do have these buildings marked as cleared. Although, obviously I missed this television. Maybe I don't have this building marked as cleared, do I not? I do. Oh, that's why. It's a duplex, right? That was the only television. Yes, okay. Okay, now I did see some stuff between these buildings, but then there's a whole bunch right here that we could gather up. Just like that. Spotted a zombie off to the west. How far off? To, and a boomer that's injured. I suppose we could manage to take care of those. Wouldn't be that difficult. And it would keep us from spotting them and distracting ourselves. Okay. Fine. And a Rottweiler. It's just getting more and more dangerous. Alright. He's been spotted. So we're going to drop his mole pack, drop his umbrella, wield the fire axe. Here comes the zombie, and the boomer has injured itself further. It's barely alive. The zombie catches up to him first, he swings and misses, backs away, swinging again. This is he seems to be quite depressed and very hungry. Finally managed to chop into the zombie doing good amount of damage. Second slash finishes it off. The boomers next. Pukes at him. But either he fails to get through the visor of his helmet, or he just completely dodges it. The amount that coats him as it explodes while he sticks his axe into it, however. Uh, very dark. Oh, pretty. Literally can't see at the moment. Just have to wait for that to go away. There we go. Nothing else seems to have noticed that noise. Is excellent. Ooh, some grape drink. Coding. We could drink the grape drink, I guess. No, let's not eat the tainted food, the tainted flesh. No. Just, okay, here comes the Rottweiler. That's what we were hoping for. Just move it over here as well. 
And with a single blow, he takes it down. There's, uh, I don't think much left of it. Mangled corpse. Yeah. Yeah. There wasn't a lot left. And like that, it's done. So, first thing he does is wield the umbrella. Where? The mole pack. And the nearest door is over here. There we are. Huh. Anything interesting in here? Guns and ammo. We've already read that. There we are. Yeah, we should be free to finish hauling our. Stuff in peace. Minimal pain. Why are we in pain? I guess we were hurt in the previous episode. This window's open. There we go. Pour all that out there and climb on in. Okay, there's a basement. There could be stuff in the basement. We're inside now. So we'll pull up the axe. Let's just avoid it. So through your footsteps. Yep, there's definitely things in the basement. Here comes a tough zombie. One. He strikes it. Cutting deeply into its flesh. Two. Again. It bites him on the arm but fails to get through his scrap metal and he's pieced together. Finally finishes it off. Now I see another giant cockroach. Oh, several more zombies. He holds his ground, chopping into the first of them, slaughtering it, knocking the second flying backwards before he finishes it off. Three giant pregnant roaches now. Four. Well, there's a zombie. Knocks the back of the zombie. Slays the cockroach. The zombie goes down. This is this is again. Again. It can't seem to get through his armor, which is a blessing. Because there's a lot of them. They just keep coming. And the boomer has coated him in vials. So now he can't even see properly. But still, he keeps fighting. Hacking away at these giant insects. The boomer explodes, but at least this time he hasn't lost his sight. Another one emerges from the basement, takes it down as well. Let's close up these windows, try to keep these roaches trapped. Zombie cop, and another tough one to emerge. for a bit, but nothing else seems to be emerging from the basement. He starts cleaning up the nymphs running about the place. It's tiring work. Decides to catch his breath. Watching them scream camper about. Let's 
so far that seems to be the last of them. No. Okay, let's close that door. Just in case there's more roaches, because the last time there was a lot more roaches, wasn't there? Okay. You know, we are very hungry. We could go check to see if there's anything to eat in the kitchen while we're here. Some bologna. Rotten jam, rotten mayonnaise, rotten butter. Ammonia and bleach. Let's not eat that. Um, anything else? We have here duct tape. Nothing terribly in the way of... Oh, some dehydrated fish. Mm, some toastums. That'll be filling at least. Oh, some flour. Didn't we need flour for something? There we are. Okay. Because I vaguely remember we needed flour for something. I'm going to head back. I think we were cooking or failing to cook something. Yes, I know, the sunlight is terrible. But, at least he's not in pain anymore. He actually managed to go through all that without taking a scratch. Love this new armor. Okay, we do have... In progress, cheese pizza. Work on craft cheese pizza. But we grabbed flour, did we not? Oh, it's only got ten. Oh, darn. Well, let's draw, drop all of this then. Except for the empty cans. Once more into the breach. Let's wield the umbrella though. While we walk through the sunlight. This albinism really does put a damper on these outdoor excursions. Sealed this up because of the roaches. Okay, let's check the basement. No, let's get rid of these bodies. Chop up the zombie cop. Chop up the tough zombie. And another tough zombie. A couple zombies here. Running out of light. we don't have any more zombie bodies. A complete home repair guide. We already have that. <gasps> Some actual bandages. Where are those? On the... Okay. Mm. A handgun. Okay. We'll take that. Taking a deep breath. Sheer drop halfway down. No. Sheer drop halfway down. Uh, no. No, we're not going to go down there then. Because we may not be able to come back up again. How did they come up? Thank you. 
using the halogen bar. Pry open the door. Processor board. Pillow. A gun safe. Won't be able to get into that easily. Definitely need higher lock picking skills. We just pick all that up. Yeah, we could, but why? Why would we want to spill contents now? No, there's a book we don't have. We'll take that. And another book we don't have. Yeah. I suppose it's possible that anything that else that was downstairs destroyed the stairs up. That could be what happened. Uh, filter stairs. Uh, okay, filter stair. Okay, dig downstairs. Mine downstairs. Repair wooden staircase. Build wooden staircase. But I think that goes only up. Yeah, it goes up. Stair wooden staircase leading up. Right there. Um, so we have to dig or mine it down. Which require having a pickaxe. And a shovel. And then some planks. And a long rope. And higher skill in fabrication than we have. Nothing. Oh, okay. Here, maybe if we take off our helmet. There, now we can see better. Okay. Throw it back on if we're going to run into combat. Oh, that's right, we can just go all five. And that works quite a bit better. Even if we are going to be picking up all these roach bodies at the moment. Corpses. Because the nymphs didn't even leave bodies? Could have sworn they did. That's fine. For now, we can mark this house as clear. At least until such time as we can get into the basement. I 
thought I saw some. Here we go, some stuff here. Is that there? Okay, I think this was the roach place. So what we're going to do is take a trip back for the scarab helmet while we're outside. Can't see as far, but on the other hand, I think it is keeping us warmer. Yes. Extinguisher screwdriver set we may want to keep on us. But how often do we need fine screwdriving? No, we'll leave it here. The rest of it, yes, we want to keep. Except the gun. Should let him sleep. He has had a long day. He's thirsty, so we're gonna give him some drink. Now he's very hungry. Mm. What do we have to eat? We have a lot of cheese and pickles, and some sugary cereal, toastums. Let's eat up some more cheese, I think. Satisfied. We kind of want full. Okay, we finished off the cheese, but he's not full. We'll try going to sleep again. It's almost midnight. There we go. I guess his sleeping schedule's been thrown off a bit. taking a very long time to go through time. We wake up. 5.30 a.m. Hmm. So what should we do? We are very hungry. We have enough light to actually cook. Cullen Skink. Rich and tasty fish chowder from Scotland made with preserved fish and creamy milk. Hmm. Except it would use up our powdered milk. Well, one of our powdered milk. Our only dehydrated fish. Hmm. You know what? It's better than eating the dehydrated fish as it is. So let's do it. Let's make it air and call for... T I don't know what that means. Use the water. 
uh, pour into a container. Apparently, it's a, uh, a soup, I guess. Um, they probably said that. I read it, and I just didn't remember. Okay. Poured it in the plastic bottle. Find a skink. There it is. Pick that up. And we're going to eat it. It's only got one dose, anyway. Still very hungry. Um, some pickles. Let's eat the pickles. Some potato chips. Satisfied. Full. Perfect. We should take. Should we take something with us? No, let's not. We're not going that far. Okay, back to the roach house. We spot a giant cockroach nymph. Where? There, on that fence. Okay. Let's see if we can get closer. Before we start sprinting after it. Okay, climb it. Yep. Didn't even need to sprint. We're good. Some stuff in here, though. Flare, sewing kit, a wrench, lawnmower. We can stuff all that in our bag. The flares actually have volume now. Or ammo now. That's good. That means they can be used. Let's just drop this stuff off right here. Because we didn't actually need it on us. From above. To below. There we go. It's boarded up. That's worrisome. No, don't step into the rose bush. Uh, go around the rose bush, please. And in fact, go around the raspberries because why not? Some splintered wood. We'll just pick that up. This has been fully barred off here, just blockaded. Okay, um... I don't think we can grab the dresser and just haul it outside. It's probably easiest. Okay, we have a shotgun and a shotgun haul. A cigarette butt. And there's a nail board right in front of the door. So a rudimentary trap. Can we disarm it? We disarmed it! Excellent. Does that teach us anything about trapping? No. Not at all. Disappointing. Okay, um... Activate. The hammer. Pull out nails. There. Drop. Lighters. And the remnant. Why not? We don't even really need it on us. What's this? Pet carrier. It has a basement. Of course it has a basement. Why wouldn't it have a basement? Uh, yep, just everything. Haul it with you. Anything interesting in this bedroom? It's apparently a bedroom. Okay. Yep. Okay, kitchen. Um, it's a fruit jam, it's probably rotten. Yeah, everything's just sort of spoiling now. Somebody tried to fortify this, but uh, I think it's supposed to be you'll find the body with the gun on it, so I think they're supposed to be they took their own lives. But uh, we've been through here and it's been so long that uh, 
the body rotted. Okay, I don't suppose there was a flashlight in any of that. So I'd rather not take off our helmet. No, just the flares. Actually, are we wearing sunglasses still? Yeah, okay, let's take off the sunglasses. Does that have an effect? No. Okay, the helmet's gotta go. So far, so quiet, though, so... Let's just hope it stays that way. What is that? Arcade machine. This matches. Bunch of stuff. Okay. Let's leave that there. Furnace and hot water heater, but uh, otherwise that's it for this room. So how close are we to that other place? Just south of it. I wonder if we could just dig our way through. Let's go get the pickaxe. It's going to be a slow process, but it might be easier than digging us our uh, own stairwell. All of all this stuff away from that car. This stuff out of the road. But let's move the umbrella for now. This will keep us from being too bothered by the sun. Oh, right, because we took off our sunglasses. Well, didn't help us. So, we'll put them back on. Activate. Pickaxe. Heard womp. Okay, we're heading in the right direction. Pickaxe. Smash, crunch, thump, thump. So obviously we're not that far. Oh. Well. Um. White wall. I wonder if that's any faster to dig through. Your glass shattering. What are they breaking in there? I wonder if it was any valuable. Rock, nails, three splintered wood. Okay. Well, let's head upstairs before we collapse things on ourselves. Too late. Interesting. Uh, no. We did that. Um, wow. Right. We left a shovel up here. Let's go see if there's anything useful buried in that uh, rubble. We're in minimal pain. Why? Anything in here to eat? Some bacon? A pickle? Have a beer? Sure. Water faucet, some ceramic shards, sure.
close up that door. This one was locked, right? Yeah. Okay. Hello, Body Central. Okay. Wield the axe, please. Wear the helmet, please. Dropping the uh, mole pack. Uh, let's just go check the kitchen really quick just to see if it had a uh, flashlight in it. Because that would be handy right now. You're not the kitchen. Where is the kitchen? Oh, there it is. Flashlight off. Light battery. Okay. Reload the flashlight. Cockroach nymph in the way. Yeah. Uh, attempt to push past. You may have to fight your way back up. Activate the flashlight. Oh boy. Okay. Here we are. Um, cockroach dumb central. How's it going? One more zombie child we feel remorse for. Spinning about. Trying to hit the... Uh, why do we feel woozy? Why would we feel woozy? Depressants? Oh, from the beer. Down goes the swimmer zone. Oh, bit on the head. Takes down that zone. Knocks back the other. Okay. So far, just nymphs. Just nymphs. Nothing else. And a room full of cockroaches. He just starts hacking away. Maybe these things are so quiet. Ouch. Just gonna take a moment to breathe in between killing them while these nymphs are in the way, guarding us. That's it. Okay, let's catch our breath. Start slaughtering nymphs. Oh, we can uh, deactivate the flashlight. Oh. And we can also take off the helmet. We should probably close these doors. So we know the room is clear. Just in case anything decides to run back into them. Okay. Right, there's a lot of cockroach bodies in the way. We have to move them before we can shut that door. Oh, so many of these things. Bar doesn't do anything, I know. Oh, uh, here we go. And the shower and the toilet everywhere. Okay. Right. So. Zombies first. dark down here to do much else, so we're just going to quickly dismember them. I think that is it for them. 
we didn't go far to chase them. Okay. Is there anything interesting here? Uh, no. I'm curious about what that is. A brick kiln. Hello. That'll be nice to have. We can make bricks with that. I'm not sure how useful that'll be, but... Hmm. And I have a sinking suspicion. Those are qual quantified as food, but not pleasant food. That's all of it. That's all of it. Heard footsteps. Yeah. Again, that's that other basement. Should they manage to break through that uh, concrete wall, then we'll have to deal with them then. But uh, till then, they kind of sealed themselves in and away from us. Fireplace, you know what? That's just kind of what I want at the moment. Okay, from beneath us to above us. Wanted to make sure we didn't pick up our other stuff and drag it along with us. We want to throw in butchery refuse. Yes, all these roach eggs, rotten or otherwise. Chunks of tainted meat. Sure. All of these nymph bodies. Yes. Pregnant giant cockroach corpses. All the roach dirt. We have quite a lot of roach dirt. Don't want to think about that. Okay. Let's wear our helmet again. Activate. Matchbook. There we are. Stop hauling. Uh, actually, no, this stuff can only hold. So we're just going to crack open this door and put it right there.
anything here that is a body suffers the same fate. Which is everything. Okay, on that load. Beverages and things, there we go, take them outside. Let's, uh... Huh. Oh, that's good. And we get into the kitchen, and we go, ew. Okay, that door is locked, so there's probably no roaches in there. Because they seem to be coming out of the basement. Checked everywhere we can walk. And disposed of the corpses. For between two to less than five hours. Wow, that was a lot of refuse. Okay. All to five. We don't want the uh, corpse. Thanks. Leave our own stuff. This would be the bathroom, I do believe. So that's what we're going to check. Oh, because there's a bathroom up there. I don't know what that room is. It could be another bedroom. Alright, it won't let you automatically haul through windows. Here we go. We do have the Halligan bar, so. There we go. It seems to be a pantry. Just not with a lot in it. Oh, with that mystery solved. Where the bag? Should give us back everything, yep. Leave the roaches to burn. Just marking that other one with the basement because we don't want to forget it's not actually fully clear. Okay, so now to the house below. We appear to have started piling stuff up. Halligan the door open. Pride it.
there's stuff outside. There we go. Okay, now we're just into sort of the back. Nothing. Uh, that door is locked, so we'll ignore it and go around. What's this? Toilet plunger. Awfully long way from the bathroom, don't you think? Vitamins out of the game, you know, I haven't seen them for a while. That would be frightening. A flashlight with a thousand charges, that's excellent news. Just drag that straight across there and grab that. Food processor. Why they made it look like a uh, stand up mixer, I'll never know. thirsty and very hungry so we'll have a look to see what we grabbed out of the kitchen here as soon as we're outside there we go uh, some more bacon some cheese a pickled veggie that would be good some actual pickles and a lot of clean water so we're gonna have some of that uh, no no. We're full. We don't want to force ourselves to eat. Uh, we're, we're still dragging. Okay. This place looks boarded up. Oh, this is where we're encountering the survivor zombies outside of. There's a good chance this is a survivor home, which could be good for us. I think. Or it could be bad. haven't seen any uh... okay. two items contains a liquid this pocket is empty I don't get it. I'll haul it out. Don't know what they changed. Something doesn't make sense anymore. Okay, so they completely barricaded the front door. With bookcases. Not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, it slows the zombies down. Makes a heck of a lot of noise to do it, but it slows them down. Doesn't help when you uh, don't barricade all the windows and everything, too. Seems to have a lot of them. Maybe they did break, barricade them and they were just bashed out. There's some splintered wood, so maybe. Yeah, they probably were barricaded. They just smashed through it anyway. Maybe they have a safe in there. And that would be just great. Crafty quarter, crafters quarterly, we already have it. We are tired again. Why are we tired? I suppose we did do some uh, digging with our pickaxe. Drop both of those. Codeine. Flashlight. I was hoping for a bit more out of this place. So far, I haven't found anything exciting. What's that? A cot. Military style fold up cot. May not be quite as comfortable as a bed. It's better than slumming it on the ground. Oh. We have a couch. Looks like they smashed out the wall there bedroom. This pretty much just has that safe.
kind of hoping for a basement or something. Something that might have a bunch of valuables in it. A little disappointed. So we know where it is. Okay, let's just grab all this, drag it up with us on our way. And may as well. This house looks a little promising, looks fancy. She had something to pick it with. Okay. How do we get in? Okay, there's a back door. So far nothing super exciting. Ooh, there's some books we don't have. The Satanic Bible. A collection of essays, observation, and rituals published by Anton LaVey in 1969. This was the treachery of legends about Western dancing. Apparently we could learn something from that, so we may actually want to take those with us. Okay, so let's just grab them right now, if we can. Now it is now night time. No, don't step into the rose bush. Go around the bird bath thing. Alright. Nothing out there. So far, so boring. Take off the scrap helmets. Thank you. Again, we're very hungry. What do we have with us? Cornbread, more toastums. There we go. Nope, we're already full. Don't eat them. Apparently they locked the bathroom door. From the outside, I guess. There was nobody in there. I don't suppose we can pry on it. Nothing to pry nearby. Well, that's just sad. Doesn't seem to be any other way out except that back door. Okay. Take us a bit, but we'll get out there. Nothing else in this place, no basement, no anything. And we will get Sean back off to bed. Pest control. Okay, so he's hungry again. Let's actually just. Do we have the room to just grab the food? Okay, from there to the inventory. No, oh, we dragged it all in the inventory. down to the containers first. 
Toastums, macaroni, oatmeal, uh, herbal tea, yeast, marshmallows, cornbreads, cashews. Chewing gum. Thank you. Did you have anything else in the way of storage? No. We're almost down to his home on this block. So this is almost another cleared section. Over here. Towels. Uh, nothing that would be particularly great. Um, coffee powder, tea leaves, tea leaves, lots of tea leaves. Rotten butter, uh, not really what I want, but sure. Mustard, rotten mayo, I don't have room for it, okay. I would kind of like that Remington though. I don't think I have room for it, no. So there's like a backpack or something here. Tool belt. Wear a tool belt. That might free up some room. Activate it. Holster the hammer. Multi tool. We could holster the satanic Bible. Could not put the umbrella in there. What was it we wanted to grab? The Remington, which is here. There we go. Anything else here that resembles food? Crack. Hmm, no. Tea bags, black tea, and, uh, mineral water. Cheese, we got lots of cheese. Bologna, no space for bologna. But if we had no space for bologna, we probably don't have room for anything. Have a drink of some water. Quench that thirst. There we are. Need some more potato chips. And another pickle. There we go. Dropping any containers we have of food. Additional food. Our books. Our tools. Including the cot. I was probably taking up a fair bit of room. Um, matches can go, yeah. Technically, stuck in the shovel and pickaxe. Drop off. Not this room. The Remington. And with that, Sean should fall asleep. Yep. Without a problem.
I'm starting to wonder if we should go back to bandaging him. It's taking a long time for his bits to heal. Sleeping in. Ten. His head has actually recovered a little bit more. That's good news. I'm usually happy so long as I can visibly see progress being made. He's he slept into almost noon. Completed the achievement 28 days later. So he survived four weeks. Where is it? There it is. Survive for a month. Okay, let's feed you. Um, food. What can we make? Well, those are both rotten. Apparently we have some oh, rotten butter, right. Unload. No, 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 no. Unload. Butter. Throw it in there. nothing to light there. Well, what if we say, where are we going? Nothing. Okay. Find plank. There we go. Wield. Throw it in there. Match. There we go. Let's see if there's any recipes he can do that he hasn't memorized yet. Is there any point we can potentially stop referencing a book is a good thing. Nothing that we can make like that right now. Can we make a sandwich or something? Here we go. Peanut butter and honey, peanut butter and maple syrup. Let's use up some of the candied honey. And then eat it, man. Don't just stand there looking at it. That's a lot of calories all in one go. Wow. Okay. Um, pickle. Now he's satisfied. How about uh, getting older? The cheese. Okay. There we go. We had some cheese. We have a few books here to read. Uh, CQB monthly. Reach your release skill to one. Okay. I don't think he needs that. No. That's useless to him. Food fashions for young moderns. He can re he can learn from it still. Satanic Bible. Just for fun. The Legends of Western Dancing. Dodging four needed to understand. Oh. Oh. That, that is a good book. It's hard to raise your dodging. Getting it up to four though. That's going to be tough. I 
let's drop the lo these books off. All right, still very hungry again now. Okay. Some mac and cheese, I suppose. May as well. We got the macaroni. We got the cheese. We, we, we. Which cheese are we trying to use? It. Yeah, just cheese. Okay. Our macaroni, cheese, water. Eat your mac and cheese. And just have some straight up cheese. Um, Hard cheese, plastic bags of cheese. Okay, we'll just grab a couple of those. Just take them with us. Hello. Actually, this is where we're going to call it a day. So have a good night. And we will see you again here in Heather Valley with Sean Redburn. <laughs>